Okay friends, to get started on this job, what I always like to do is use something soft like a piece of wood right down on the bumper in between the tailgate and the bumper. That's just gonna help prevent it from falling down too far. That right there. At this point, we can take this right off of here. Just pull on this tab, slide that down. Do the same on the other side. Awesome. Now we're gonna lift the tailgate up and out of here. What you're gonna notice is that one side, or the passenger side on this particular application, is gonna be the side that slides up and out, and then the other side is gonna be a circular area where we're just gonna kinda of pull away. So I'm gonna go up like this, lift it up, and then out. Okay, so I've got our kit in our hand, and to be honest with you, these rectangular pieces right here are gonna go on the truck. These circular pieces right here are the ones that we need for the actual tailgate. So this is the passenger side of the tailgate here, and you're gonna see that there's a little cutout and it's not a complete circle. If you were to look at the driver's side, it would be a complete circle. With that said, by looking at the two pieces that we have to offer, you can tell which one goes where. This one right here has a couple little pitons. Those pitons are gonna to squeeze together and they're gonna go right through that hole and that's what's gonna hold it in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. I'm gonna carefully try to slide it in here. If for some reason it doesn't want to slide in, this piece could be bent a little bit, which isn't really that big of a deal. I'll just take my rubber mallet and I'll help it along. If you can tell, you want to make sure that you have this area lined up so it's a nice smooth hole to go through. If it's turned a little bit, it's really not that big of a deal, but if it's turned too far, just use your pry bar and see if you can get it to move so it lines up perfectly. So now let's take this other piece and insert it over on the driver's side of the tailgate. Now that we have the tailgate all set up, let's make our way back over to the truck. If we come to this area right here, more than likely you're going to see this and it's probably going to look like it's in about this kind of condition, especially if your tailgate's rattling around like mine was, or you might not even see that it has one at all. With that said, if you have a lot of debris or anything like that, you could try to clean it up real quick, but I wouldn't worry too much about it overall. Next I'm going to take this little piece right here, I'll just slide it over the end and then I'll help it along with my rubber mallet. And we'll do the same to the other side. Now that we have all of our bushings carefully installed, we're going to go ahead and put the tailgate on. When we put the tailgate on, we want to come down at an angle and slide the driver's side in first because that's the side that has the circle and it has to go over this piton. The other side, the passenger side, is going to kind of come straight on down and it should come right in there. Once we've done that, we'll lower it down and we'll put on our cables. So we'll get our tailgate up onto the bumper here so it doesn't fall down. Now we're just going to get this one lined up with its piton, like I said. It's the hardest part because it's a fairly heavy tailgate, of course. Slide it on in there. Okay, I got this side in now. So now I'm going to carefully bring this down a little bit. I'm going to connect this in. You can see that it has a little piton. That's the lock. So you just slide it over and then the lock makes it so it stays. We'll do the same to the other side. Now we can let this down. That feels great. And let's close it. Oh, it's like brand new. 